Like, yeah, it's really scary whenever it just, you know, just drops all the way back down. And sure enough, right after she said that, the elevator started dropping all the way back down. Oh, Not even stopping yeah. at the floor until we got to ours. I hate that. And it was, yes. that was just... I was like, man, she really jinxed this elevator. <laughs> it was all her fault. <laughs> it still was. It still was. But that's, that's the only interesting thing that really happened. I mean, it was all interesting, but that's the one thing that just kind of stood out. One of the things that I love about Dragon Con is like whenever you get stuck in the elevator with an interesting person that's dressed up. That yeah, I got stuck in the elevator with a lot of interesting people. And I didn't I have stuck a camera in the elevator with and a lot it really of smelly made people. me mad. Yeah. Because there was one guy in particular who was dressed like um, Pyramid Head from uh, Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. And he, his costume, he looked it, awesome. it, was, it was dead on. I mean, perfect, perfect, perfect recreation of it. Dead on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, I don't have my camera. <laughs> and I was really upset because I'm a huge Silent Hill fan. I love that game. I've played all of them. Except for one. I think I haven't played one of them. Yep. Another awesome costume. Sorry y'all won't get to see because I didn't have a camera. Yeah. I saw a lot of people dressed up like the nurses from Silent Hill too. Yeah, the... Um, no, I've never seen the movie. Um, if yeah. you saw them walking around there like in the nurse's uniform, but they got like stuff all on their face. Oh, like, so like that's the, the plaster right. or the yeah. gauze on their face. They're the nurses from Silent Hill. Cool. I remember um, late at night, whenever we would um, walk into the um, the was it the concourse and then the main lobby. You could tell you could tell it's Dragon Con whenever you're walking from one place to another place, and all you can smell is bo. Like that's all you smell is just bo. Like man. A lot of people stink around here. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole place just smelled of B.O. no matter where you went. It's really awesome when you get in an elevator and it smells all nice and fresh because someone just took a shower. You just want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you for showering. So if you if you go to Dragon Con or any con. Please shower. We do appreciate it. Yes. Remember showers are your friend. <laughs> <laughs> And deodorant. Yeah, deodorant. If you don't have deodorant, just ask somebody. I don't care. Just be like, hey, guy. Bump deodorant like you bump cigarettes. Yes, you got <laughs> some deodorant because they will thank you for asking them for deodorant because they will have to smell you. Exactly. Okay, deodorant. well, my battery's about to go dead. So, uh, along with the, you know, showers are your friend and use deodorant, do we have any other Dragon Con survival tips? Um, Red Bull. Energy drinks, sodas, water, Giant water, sticks. water. Definitely, you. I got so dehydrated. But sugar. What, what was it? In Dragon Con, they've got like the pyramid of Dragon Con, and it's like alcohol, sugar, caffeine. That's what. That's what you need. And water. Definitely. And I got to see Terry Gilliam. That was awesome. I thought yeah. I'd throw that in there. <laughs> and try to take cat naps. Cat At naps. least try to take cat naps. Cat naps. Yes. Any any tips for survival? Don't pass out outside. Security yeah, doesn't like it. And people might ride on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad things happen to those who sleep unprotected. <laughs> I don't have any survival tips because this was my first Dragon Con. Yep. Tracy Copter. Uh, wear Con good Jerry. shoes. Yeah, wear good shoes. Yes. I see wear people wearing shoes. like high heel stack shoes and I don't see how the hell they do it. I give them much praise for doing it. And Your walking around like that all day. Will die. Your blisters will have blisters. On those blisters. <laughs> Totoro doesn't have any advice because he's been all his time in a bag. But we love Totoro. Sorry Totoro, I saved him just in time. So he doesn't yep. have any con stories. Maybe next year, turn around. Maybe next year. The end? Yeah, the, the end. end. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.